Hi everyone, it's Natalie here. I just got home late last night um, from my mom and dad's house and so I'm still kind of waking up and having my coffee. I forgot that I had this lovely bumblebee um, earthenware sort of Majolica-esque or Majolica-esque um, coffee mug these wonderful bees that have this beautiful brushwork. It has these chips and stuff on it, but we love this mug so much, or at least I do, that we can't bear to part with it. Um, we work in stoneware. And stoneware tends to hold up a little better um, in some cases, but who knows? I mean, it could be that it was like this when I moved in with Tom, so I don't know how long he's even had it. It's probably a very old mug. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, I'm coming on because... Slurp. Um, <clears throat> when I got home last night, guess what was here? This beautiful package um, from Tarot Oracle. And while I am not, uh, you know, Tarot Oracle's uh, level of entertainment, <laughs> he is hysterically funny um, sometimes. I tend to enjoy him. I think he's 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 a good laugh. Um, and I learned so much from him, but uh, I wanted to just kind of un unpack this one. I ordered his book on Kickstarter ages ago, and I can't remember when that was, but uh, I was definitely very excited to receive it. It's definitely a great big chunk of a book. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So I thought I would just kind of flip through it with everybody. Look at that! And he even signed it. He even signed it, dedicated to the wonderful Christina, special thanks to Dr. Mystical, my brother from another mother. Yeah, I do enjoy um, his banter with, um, with Dr. Mystical. I enjoy Dr. Mystical. I enjoy Christina. Um, and I do also really enjoy and seem to keep missing his, um, <clears throat> the lives that he does with Zach. Um, from uh, the Tiger's Abyss. So, yeah, a couple of my favorite favorite guys in one place is always really exciting. There's Zach. And thanks to all the content creators who came on to the channel to hang out with me. Yeah, so there's Brian, Papa Squirrel, and there's Zach, and some other creators I don't recognize, but who I clearly should get to know. There's always more folks to get to know, isn't it? There, there just are. And look at this. There's these videos with the QR codes. It's so it's cool. And so he explains the iconography here. I really hope my camera's picking this up. I just got to do a check. Uh, yeah, there's so much here. And it's hard to hold up because it's so heavy. Um, beautiful. Wow. It's, this is a very, very uh, user-friendly deck, or deck, what am I saying, book? Got the Empress and then combos with the Empress. I'll be right back because uh, naturally, even though I tried to get him moved before I came back in here, Wonder Doggy wants to come back and hang with us. So I'll be right back. And we're back. So I've got a Trinley in the window and a Bubba on the floor. And Marty was on the desk and he bolted as soon as I came in. He always thinks he's in trouble. So yeah, for each of the... Oh, I'm out of breath after that. 100 pound dog, y'all. 100 pound dog. Although we do the wheelbarrow, so it's not so bad. So uh, with every major, we've got... The combinations, break time, love connections. Interesting. So we get all of the love connection cards. The book itself, the paper is gorgeous. This is wonderful, heavy, thick paper. Um, it's that shiny stock that like does really well with, um, oh, what is it I'm talking about? It does really well with the, um, with color pictures on it, tarot bookends. I mean, there's just so many wonderful 
bits and pieces. And while I've watched a lot of his other videos already, I mean, I think I've probably seen all the videos that are referred to in here, I think, unless they're new ones, maybe they're new ones. Um, that is a beautiful three of swords. T.O., is that from your book, I think, or from your deck that you designed? I bet it is. I bet that's from the Waterfall Tarot. Um, just haven't read closely enough yet. So, yeah. Oh, look at that. Card interactions, barriers, movement. So this will do really well, I can tell already, with, like, um you know, little like page markers and flags and stuff that I like to put in my books. The only problem I always have with this type of paper, and I do love it, um, is that I can't use a pencil on it, which allows me to erase stuff. Um, but I could also like, I tend in books like this, I tend to just resort to flags and post-it notes that have my notes on that particular area and then stick it close by somewhere. Wow, yeah, cards, tarot in the seasons. That's great. Oh my gosh. More about tarot in the seasons, two of cups. Yep. So, um, wow. So we go all the way through the deck. And we get all the stuff about different spreads, recommended reading. Love that triple soulmate spread, ladder spread. Some these are great. Decision, love spread. Damn, T.O., look at that. Card categories cheat sheet. Look at that, a big cheat. See, these are the things I bookmark in here with my little thingies, my little flags. Sweet. Oh, love that. Love that. Okay. And then videos for all of these different ideas. Making money with tarot. I know he's got a new book coming out about making money with tarot. Is there a, uh, ta there's no, ta there's no table of contents in here. I somehow was expecting a table of contents, sir. That's okay. I don't mind. Um, it's pretty clear where to find things. And where someone doesn't do a table of contents, I mean, that's, it's not a big deal because I always end up marking, I'm just a nerd, but I, I end up marking the, um, you know, I end up putting flags in my books anyway. Ooh, look at that, a numerology cheat sheet. See, those are the things you want to be able to find. Yeah, numerology in the tarot. So yeah, this one's going to require a bit of marking. That's a great way to get to know a book, by the way. If you feel intimidated about picking it up and just reading it, because I'm one of those, I can't start a book right at the beginning. I tend to jump around. Um, the song immediately goes through my head, and I do not want to violate copyright. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, what a cool book. Um, unique system of tarot reading where cards are categorized in an easy-to-memorize fashion. I think this would be a great book for beginners. I'm going to say this would be a great book for beginners. Um, yeah, the simplified method has been used in over 17,000 professional readings. Yeah, he definitely thinks very differently than I do. And I regard that as a real strength um, because that's something, you know, I mean, it's, yeah, I love that about people. I love it when people are really different learners or thinkers than I am. Because it really just forces me out of my um, out of my my <clears throat> my own way of thinking, and it makes me kind of bend my brain a little bit so that I can see things from a different perspective. And I really do like that. I really, really do like that. So, yeah, I regard that as being very helpful. Yeah, look at that. So it, it tends to make me uh, think about the cards differently, which also means that I will learn something and stretch my, my uh, perceptions a lot further. 
gather information, make my brain chug in a different direction. Also very good, very healthy. All right, well, these are beautiful. This is gorgeous, T.O. Not that I'll, I don't know, I doubt that he'll even come and see it, but who knows? He might, he might be there. Um, if you're there, T.O., I'm a big, uh, big fan. Love your, love your channel, man. Um, break time addictions, hoarding, ordering off too much off Amazon, taking on excesses. So these are about addictions. Yeah, Dra creating drama and social situations. Yep, next shiny object. Attention seeking. Ah, this is great. I love attention, which is why I stream live stream every night. People will come online, say hello, and I adore all of them, even consider them my friends. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, I like that. I like the uh, associations there. That's a fun thing, too, about learning other people's styles of reading. You know, what their experience is with a particular card, because then, you know, there that opens up the possibilities. And I find the minute that I open a door, um, usually in a, in a reading not soon after that, that particular card interpretation will pop up. Just so exciting. That's it's just how we all. Learn. It's how I learn. It's how I learn. I love that among many other ways. So there we go. The Tarot Guidance Book by Tarot Oracle, whose name we just don't know. Um, although I have a clue because of the email that got sent to confirm something. But anyway, I won't say that because To clearly does not want to be known by his street name. Anyway, I'll quit flipping through and yammering uh, and just leave it at that. This is uh, a clearly a beautiful book. Uh, very specific, very clear. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely very excited to dive in and get to know it better. All right, um, probably report on this at the end of the month in my, my favorites video um, for June. All right, folks, take care, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.